isolation due to a global pandemic, Danny the Puppet is forcing his family to watch movies from his childhood. And Danny the Puppet will now review these movies. Hi, uh, it is I, Danny the Puppet, reviewing my first family movie today. And today we watch Superman 2. That's right, the second Superman film. I went with the regular edition of Superman 2. I know the Donner Cut is out there. I know many people like the Donner Cut more. But I'll give you a couple of the reasons we decided to watch the regular version. One, we had recently watched the original Superman movie. And it's a really good movie, except for the end. I never was very fond of the fact that Superman reversed time to save Lois Lane. Anytime time reversal is used as a major plot device, it kind of ruins the weight of everything that's happening. I also think that makes Superman a little too powerful. One of the reasons we didn't watch the Donner Cut is if you've watched the Donner Cut, it ends the same way. Superman reverses time and makes sure that the entire second Superman movie does not happen. That's something he could have saved for the fourth Superman movie. But we watched the regular version of Superman 2. And it's really good. I like it. It's got some real weight with the villains. General Zod and his crew from Krypton uh, caused quite a bit of a problem for Superman. Superman's often a hero that they say it's hard to find villains that match up to him. Having three Kryptonians face him is a pretty good plan. The performances are pretty solid. I always like Christopher Reeve as Superman. He really gets to show his strength in this movie. Margot Kidder is a decent Lois Lane, not my favorite, mind you, but she does a good job. And no, Terry Hatcher isn't my favorite either. Erica Durrance, for all of you who want to know. Anyways, where were we at? We're describing Superman 2. Uh, I do have a few problems with Superman 2. It's a great superhero action film, and it's got some great weight to it. But my biggest problems lie in the end of the movie. First of all, the final fight scene doesn't quite deliver the way I want it to. Superman has some powers in that final fight scene that don't quite measure up to what I expect of Superman. Uh, the obvious one is the giant cellophane S. I don't like the giant cellophane S. It seems like an odd power for Superman to have where he can take the S off his chest and make a giant saran wrap thing to wrap a villain up in. Uh, another thing I do not like is the fact that Superman manages to have a new power where he can appear in several places at once. You could argue that this is something the Fortress of Solitude is letting him do with holograms, except the villains seem to do something similar where they teleport to different spots. Um, a third thing I didn't like, Superman seems to leave the villains for dead. Now there is a scene, and I think it might be in the Donner Cut, where they show the police come and arrest the powerless villains and uh, Lex Luthor as well. So that one might uh, actually be just a subtle editing problem. But of course, the last problem is the kiss. The super kiss. Superman apparently cannot be with Lois Lane unless he does not have his superpowers. I never quite understood that. But here we are. Superman decides he and Lois Lane can't be together. So what he does is he kisses her and makes her forget everything. What kind of power is that for Superman to have? And it also makes Lois Lane forget all of Superman, too. Which is really odd, because if she wants to forget something, she can forget Superman 4. But we will watch that one later. Uh, that's all I have to say about Superman 2. Bye for now.